If someone ever asked me what I think the most intense clone rod is, I would definitely say one of the Batman clones. Because damn, these rods are so f fast paced that as a coach enthusiast, I can easily say that these rods cross the line of intensity for me. It's not typical for me to say a rod is too intense, but hell, half the rods on my credit list are not intense to me at all. They just have a little force in my opinion, but Batman's wide clones are rods that I sometimes have to literally brace for. So in this review, I will be talking about these clone rods and the pros and cons. So without hesitation, let's get into this video. I've only ever ridden two Batman clones around the USA, which was the one at Six Flags Good Adventure and the one at Six Flags St. Louis. But I'm pretty sure this review can apply to every other Batman clone. So let's start with stats. Batman the Ride clones usually have a height of 105 feet, a speed of 50 miles an hour, and is and a length of 2,693 feet in length. The stats don't seem impressive at all, but you've gotta believe me on this. Batman the Ride clones seem way faster than 50 miles per hour. In a car, in comparison, it goes 128 miles per hour, but if I'm being for real, that one doesn't even seem as fast as 128 miles an hour. That shows you that slower coasters seem faster, and faster coasters seem slower. Speaking of ride speed, let's get to the ride experience. Batman clones start off by going up a 105 foot lift hill, well it is a very loud lift hill, don't believe me, here is a um, clip of a Batman point of view. That's what I thought skeptics. After the lift hill, the ride drops into a small pre-drop which the front and back are completely, completely different experiences going into the pre-drop. In the front, you go through it slowly, but in the back, you get pulled through it because of the momentum of the front car going down the drop as the back is still going through the pre-drop. After the drop comes a very intense and compact loop. I'm serious when I say you will gray out here even if you're hydrated. It's that intense. You go through the loop so fast no matter what row you're in. But after the first vertical loop, you go into a once again very fast and whippy zero-g roll. And just like the vertical loop, you fly through this element. This isn't as much of a growl element, but you kinda grow out going into the zero-g roll because you're still kinda going out from the previous inversion. But you don't grow out actually going through it like at the peak of the zero-g roll. After the zero-g roll comes the second vertical loop. This one isn't as intense as the last one, but it's still pretty intense. After the second loop comes a very intense helix. As a matter of fact, this helix is so intense that your legs start to have a tingling sensation halfway through the helix. The helix is probably the second most intense helix in the park. It would be the first most intense in the park if Nitro didn't exist. After the helix comes a downward helix type thing, which is not that intense actually, but after that comes your first of two corkscrews, which both are extremely intense and fast paced. After that comes a very fast overbank turn. This overbank turn might just be even more intense than Fahrenheit's overbank turn. I don't even know which row this overbank feels more intense than. Because the overbank feels about the same in every row. But after the overbank comes the second corkscrew. And this one feels about the same as the first corkscrew. Intense and whippy. The two corkscrews feel exactly alike. After the last inversion comes a upward half spiral into the break one. The only reason I'm continuing to talk about this corkscrew after the break one is because in the station, two things. First, you stop very, very suddenly, and second, those strings pop up very violently. And also, the break one is so freaking loud. So overall, Batman the Wild clones are one of the most intense clones ever built. So for Batman 
Sloan's final score, I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. Batman the Ride Sloan's are very fun and intense rides. The only two cons, the only two cons are that you get a bit of headbanging, and in my personal opinion, the Batman Sloan's are a little too intense for me, and a lot of people. Which is weird since I have one in Kindergarten, which goes 128 miles per hour, and I don't find car intense, but I find this intense. I have a weird mindset, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. I offer some of the best high quality roller coaster content you'll find on YouTube. But with that said, I'm Horizon Throws, and I'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace.